Hey guys, BreakWizard59 here, coming at you with yet another episode of Building Tatooine in LEGO. And today we have a very fun episode as we have a lot of parts here. As you can see, I do have a couple of packages. As today we're going to be talking about, um, we're going to be getting the desert done, get some detailing done on the desert. We're going to get that mountain started and also give you a look at how Jabba's Palace is going on. And then we're going to actually show you the brand new hangar bay, as well as um, take a look at the minifigures for the mock so far. So a lot to do, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now you can see here, of course, this is a bit different compared to um, the regular episodes. As today I'm going to start off with actually a couple of hauls. Um, so I'll make this pretty quick. The first package, it's already opened as I had ordered a variety of parts and minifigs. Um, and only three of them are for this mock. So as we open it up here, they are all the Lego Jawas. Um, so these minifigures definitely aren't cheap. Uh, seven bucks each, so it's not at all cheap. But um, definitely these are some pretty um, central characters to Tatooine. So I ended up picking up three of them and then here this package is from Germany so it did take almost two weeks to get here but still um, hopefully it was worth the wait so let's go ahead and open this up but here it is um, the box so let's go ahead and take a look first off we got 56 of the 1x2 inverted slopes we got a ton of hinges for the uh, hanger and 230 one by two or one by three slopes so very awesome definitely um, a haul that I've been waiting for for quite some time I'm finally glad it's here and now you can go ahead and start building the monk so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look all right so we're gonna start off here um, at the desert this time and so uh, you just saw in the previous clip, um, I had the hall of the bricks, and this is what I've made, and I'm actually really satisfied with how the mountain has turned out. So we'll actually go ahead and zoom in a bit, just so you can get a bit of a better look um, at the mountain. Um, and it's again uh, made using the 1x3 slopes, the 1x2 uh, slopes, and then inverted 1x2 slopes as well. Um, and one by two bricks and I really like how it's turned out love how it has the curves to it um, And if you actually look here in the very back there is space which is open as you can see there now I actually did kind of run out of brick, but what I'm thinking of doing is actually uh, Making something that goes so there's like an opening there But I'll still have probably a couple layers of brick on the top so I can actually put down the plates but there'll be an opening and I'm thinking I'm going to add the Rancor Pit, and it's actually a decent size, it can fit a decent Rancor Pit. So basically when people walk by, there'll be an opening and you might actually be able to see the Rancor Pit in the mountain. I think that'll be really cool, um, as if we take a look in the back, because I'll take the camera off. There is definitely a lot of space, easily enough to fit uh, the Rancor Pit. So I think that's going to be really awesome. Um, so I'll see what I can do about that. I'm probably not going to purchase the set. I'm probably just going to go ahead and um, maybe just buy the Rancor and make my own type of Rancor pit. Um, and I might even put a space down there for where the droids are tortured. So it's like a really cool, um, larger uh, Jabba's palace. And in terms of the palace, if we take a look here, I do have... Um, a portion of Jabba's palace right here. Let's go. go ahead and take a look at that right there. Now that's my larger Jabba's palace. But I put it on, it's way out of scale, so I'm probably um, going to have to just rebuild the Lego set Jabba's palace, um, which I had modified a year or two back to make this, but I'm going to have to end up just rebuilding the set um, so it's a bit more to scale. Um, and then here's a look at the um, desert. Nothing much, started adding a bit more detailing. And I do have a decent amount of plates here as well as uh, 4x4s and 4x6s. So I think I can, by next update, get more sand detailing. 
So the desert is pretty much over. All I need to do is place Jabba's palace on top. Um, and then also um, add more detailing. And then actually there's this really cool like um, dome piece, which I'll have an image on the screen, that looks exactly like a Tusken Raider um, hut. Um, so I'm gonna order a few of those, lay them out so it's like a bit more of a, it looks really cool, like there's a Tuscan Raider camp as well. Maybe near the rocks, I think that'd be cool, or maybe in that section over there. Um, so that's gonna be awesome, so I need to order that. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty sure the desert is done. Um, depend right now it's actually quite large, so even though there's the rock work, it does, um, there's still a lot of space between the city and the desert. So I'll see, if when I put Java's Palace, it looks like it's too close to the city, I'm going to probably then add another uh, set of base plates. So just add one more base plate length this way. Therefore, I'll be adding three in all. Um, so I'll see what happens. Again, that's if um, anything, uh, if it doesn't look that great. But as if now, I'm going to be leaving the nine base plates for the desert. And next, we're going to be taking a look at Tatooine. Now I know you saw last week already that I had um, finished, uh, added those three new buildings in the back, but I ended up uh, getting like 30 hinges. Now hinges are, um, which you'll see in a bit, um, but basically I ended up tearing down the hangar bay and remaking it. So this is the brand new hangar bay. So if you see here, all those gray parts are hinges, so I'd ordered like 30. So I have 15 on the top and 15 on the bottom. So it's a lot more structurally stable and it actually has a better, uh, nice curve to it. Just like the actual um, hangar bays and I think it looks a lot better. I wanted to do a circular one, but in this space, I definitely could not um, as that'd be a way too small a hangar. Plus I want to make it so that you can actually see inside it. So this is how it's going to be. Now, in first I had said, that I would be putting the Slave 1 inside um, and that would be the 2010 Slave 1 but you know that's kind of large and it's taller than the hangar which that's not supposed to happen um, and especially like in this type the hangar is always taller than the ship um, so instead of just raising the hangar because that would be bad because then I'd uh, not be able to see the back uh, like the buildings in the back which are actually kind of short too so I wanted to have a view of everything so I didn't want the hangar blocking the view so what I'm actually going to be doing is getting the slave one from 2000 so I'll have an image on that on the screen it's significantly smaller um, than the newer slave ones um, and it it's probably going to be at this height or so something like that so it's going to be pretty small but it'll be perfect for the hangar plus it's like I don't know, probably like that big or something. Uh, so it'll actually make the hangar look really large too. So it's gonna be perfect uh, fit inside. Plus it's really cheap. Like the cheapest you can get it for is 15 bucks without the figures. I already have the minifigures on my minifigure wall. So I, I, I don't need the minifigures. Um, so 15, 20 bucks, that's pretty cheap for a slave one. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and uh, get that in the next week or two. Um, if I don't get around to doing that, I'm probably going to go ahead and just put Sam with Sal's airspeeder there. I'm inside, but I'm probably going to get that slave one. Um, and I'm going to try, I'm going to try to order it from the U S so there'll be a three to four day shipping. Um, and therefore I'll get it sooner. Um, but that's all for that. And now finally, let's end this episode off by taking a look at the minifigures so far. All right. So here's the update on the minifigures. This is basically what I have so far. Uh, now, I'm trying not to have too many expensive minifigures because at the convention, um, even though there's a bit of like a railing in front of your mocks, um, it's definitely within arm's reach. And I'm going to have a ton of minifigures here. And now this is very unlikely, but definitely possible that someone could, you know, snatch a minifigure or two. And maybe I'm going to have at least 100 figures on this mock, I hope. Uh, so probably I won't even know if I've lost a minifigure or not. Um, so I'm trying to have minifigures that are $5 and under here. So all these minifigures, with the exception of, uh, oops, with the exception of Greedo, which is that minifigure there, but he'll be in the cantina. 
Um, now, I actually do have two of those 2004 Greedos. Here's the other one, so it's not the end of the world if I lose it. But this is a bit of an expensive figure at around, like, what, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. So definitely, um, as of now, I'm going to put him in the mock, but maybe I'm just thinking of buying the newer Greedo, which is, like, 3 4 bucks. Um, so I'm probably going to, for now, keep him. Um, but other than that, all the other minifigures are sh per pretty much under $5. Um, I'm not sure about Watto, but um, they're pretty much under $5. And I'm trying to get as much diversity, um, kind of generic figures. I'm trying to include a lot of guys with hoods and capes um, to make it look a bit more like sketchy. Um, look a bit more sketchy, like Smuggler Town. Um, and I'm going to definitely have to get more Stormtroopers. I'm going to be including the flesh versions of Han, uh, Obi-Wan, and Luke instead of the, like, yellow-faced versions. Um, and I think that's going to be a lot better. Um, but there's a look at the minifigures. Um, it's definitely a decent way to go. Hopefully by next update, I can have more. And I'm not going to be buying too many figures because each figure is, what, six bucks online. If I need to buy, like, a hundred, that's... That's a huge dent. I don't have $600 to spend like that. Um, I, I don't really have that much money at all. I have like 100 bucks, but again, I need to save that. Uh, so I really don't have much money at all for minifigures. Um, so I'm probably just going to try and make my own. And maybe one or two more minifigures I'm going to get online. But other than that, all the other minifigures will be made right here. Um, so there you go. That's it for the minifigures. All right, and lastly, what I want to talk about is a bit of my arrangement of minifigures. Now, basically, I will be definitely including scenes from the movies and what scenes I'm still thinking, but I know for sure two scenes I will be including. Uh, for one, I will be including the cantina scenes. I'll have Han and Greedo uh, battling it out. I love Luke um, at the counter and then like, you know, Obi-Wan talking to Chewbacca. That scene basically, so I'll have that in there. And I'm thinking maybe include a light or something so you can actually see uh, into um, the building. As that's like probably one of the couple buildings where I'll have a specific scene and it's like cut out so you can actually see inside. Another scene I'll be including, which will be right around maybe here or where uh, the speeder is at now, is um, the scene where Obi-Wan used the mind trick on these stormtroopers. So, of course, um, I'll put Obi-Wan and Luke and then, you know, R2-DTC-3PO on the speeder. A uh, couple of stormtroopers uh, who are doing the interrogation. So, I think that's going to be another cool scene. Um, um, other movie accurate scenes. Um, probably I can do one um, over here. So, this little junk area. I'll have Watto here and then I'll probably put Anakin and Padme, like, from Episode 2 when... He had first come to Tatooine and first met Watto um, after he had lost his shop in episode one. So definitely this isn't going to be a like, uh, this mock will have scenes from all of the movies, not just the uh, original trilogy. Um, and then I'll probably have the fourth scene, which will be um, Anakin um, maybe going to rescue his mom. Because as I said, I will have a Tusken Raider camp. And I already have the Tusken Raider encounter set from 2002. So I do have the swoop bike that he uses, so I think I'll maybe make a cool scene like that as well. So, you know, add scenes from new and original trilogy, I think that'd be cool. And then another cool scene maybe I'll do is Boba Fett landing um, on Tatooine, even though that's not really a movie accurate scene. I think that'll be a pretty cool scene, once again, with the Slave One. And finally, the last thing we need to talk about is vehicles. What's going to be happening with vehicles? So... Um, I did a bit of research, and there are for they're gonna there are a variety of different vehicles. I'm definitely include another land speeder or two. So I'm probably what I'm gonna do is I know there was a land speeder released in 1999 that's really small and like not that nice looking. I'm probably gonna have that because that really looks very different compared to the speeder, and I might have the newer one so it's like a different color. So I'm gonna have in all three land speeders. I'm just gonna get different versions. Um, the 1999 land speeder you can get for like 10 bucks uh, and like 15 bucks sealed. So definitely not a very expensive set at all. Maybe just get one and I might just uh, try and build another land speeder in a different color. Uh, just going to have to order those like engine pieces. But that's going to be it. I'm probably going to include a couple of speeders and things and maybe like some like... Uh, 
little uh, transport which is drawn by some animal or something like that and I'm gonna include the boga uh, I think that'd be kind of cool um, but yeah so that's pretty much it for vehicles um, and there you go that was it for this episode to so definitely a bit of a longer episode more fun as we had quite a bit of work done we got the mountain finished uh, we got a bit more detailing done on the desert and then we got the new hangar bay and then a uh, head start on those minifigures. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. The next update will hopefully be in a week, if not two, as Brooks by the Bay is in three weeks. I'll be taking that there. Um, yeah, actually, under three weeks now. Little, yeah, a little under three weeks. Um, and I'll be taking this home off there. So I definitely want to have at least one update uh, more. And then I think in the next update, we should be completely finished. We should be get in the vehicles, get more minifigures, and I should have Jabba's pal palace placed up. So then like uh, Brooks by the Bay is on a Thursday, so maybe that Wednesday or Tuesday, which is still summer vacation, I'll probably just film the final video of the entire mock with staging and everything. So it's like a final mock video. So definitely stay tuned. This mock is coming along to a close very fast. Thank you so much for everyone um, and their support on this mock. Stay tuned. This is BrickWizard59. I want to thank you for watching and definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and check out some of my other Lego Star Wars mocks um, down in the description below. This is BrickWizard59 and I'll see you all next time.